every Rotarian has a story to tell. Let's take a look at how Rotary changes their lives and how they live their lives under our motto, Service Above Self. Uh, my name is Camille Idea. I am uh, the president of the Rotary Club of Makati Das Marinas. Rotary for me before was just a club for old people. So I never thought of joining the club until a good friend of mine, Yvette, she's a classmate from school, she uh, invited me to join one of the community projects. So we went to Laguna to give uh, relief goods to the victims of the flood. So from then on, that was 2009 after Ondoy. And after that, I was hooked. So I found out that Rotary is not just for old people, it's for young people like us, young people who are working, and then it was good that my good friend was there. Uh, being the president of the, a large club is an honor and a challenge, of course. I never dreamed of becoming the president of this club, but I think I have a calling, I have to answer my calling, and after this, I know I'm not going to regret any minute of it. When I joined the club in 2010, I wasn't very active, but somewhere along the way, I got hooked. I would attend every meeting, I would attend all the projects, I would attend all the parties, the fellowships, and I enjoyed it so much, so I guess, why not? Uh, for one thing, presidents are chosen. Um, the Council of Presidents choose and then uh, so it's an honor, it's a privilege that it's hard to say no when the, as the people or the members or the past presidents ask you to become president of this club. Number one, the people are so vibrant, the meetings are so fun because our meetings are not boring. You would think that Rotary meetings are boring with the speaker and the uh, the usual dinner, but ours is very different. Uh, we have fun. We are all in the same wavelength. That's one of the magic, that's one of the secrets of the success of this club. All the members are very young and active and creative. So in the end, we enjoy. We not only see each other to finish the meeting, but we enjoy ourselves. We like to say that we take fun seriously. This year is the water and sanitation. So, of course, in line with that, we have projects lined up. We will be making, we will be setting up water tanks and uh, we will be improving the bathroom facilities of the Nas Bagbag National High School, which is our adopted school. And then we also plan to do a water desalination project all the way in Eastern Samar because they really need water over there. But aside from the water and sanitation, uh, another main thrust is the membership. We, plan, we are one of the largest in this district. We are the largest mixed gender club, but we intend to increase membership so that we have more minds thinking. We have more synergy in the club. That's one of our signature projects, the Mulat Mata Cataract Mission. In fact, we built a facility specifically for that, uh, I think five or six years ago. It's in Barangay Escopa, Quezon City, and we have uh, free cataract missions at least once every quarter, or if there's a need, if there are other beneficiaries, we do it every month. We have another one coming up, and we usually get partners in service to sponsor the project uh, so that the cost will be minimized for the club. So we usually uh, invite indigents who cannot afford a cataract surgery. And uh, so we ask them to go to the, to the facility. And our, one of the past presidents, in fact, uh, Bong Cruz, is head of this, because he's an ophthalmologist. So we have another mission coming up soon. Every time there's a cataract mission, we, we treat around 20 to 30 patients in a day. So for the past, what, six years, if we do it every month, it's a, it's a, big, it's a big number. Okay, we're very proud of the Alay Buhay Heart Valve 
project, we have a very uh, generous donor who gives funds for heart valves. So, but uh, we screen our patients. So, so far we've done four surgeries for the year. We plan to, to do 21 because this is our 21st year as a club. We also have the Alay sa Kalusugan feeding program. Every year, it's a six-month program. Uh, we choose a barangay somewhere in Pasig or Mandaluyong, and we, uh, we teach the mothers, the teachers, and the children to eat properly. These are 30 malnourished children. So we have a daily food uh, menu for them. So it's a six-month program. We weigh them on the first month, and then we go back on the sixth month to check the progress. Aside from that, we have many more. We have the Pedia Olympics and the Arts and Crafts workshop for children who are differently abled. We have in, in basic literacy and education, we, have, uh, we award the most outstanding public teacher in Makati. We have scholarship in King's School, King's British School. We, we give books to our adopted communities. We have in every area of focus of the Rotary. I am proud to say that we have a project for that, scheduled for the whole Rotary year. As I mentioned earlier, this is our 21st year. We are celebrating our 21st birthday on December 14. We are the largest mixed gender club because some clubs are all male, some clubs are all female, but ours, we are, there are 73 members now, uh, half and half, so about 38 or 39 males and 34 females. So it's a good mix. Uh, our charter president is Becky Singson. He's, she's a leading uh, OBGYN. And she's still very active. Despite the 21 years, she's still very much hands-on. She's still very much uh, in the loop. She joins all the activities. So we're proud because all our charter members were still in touch with the charter members. And we meet every Wednesday. I have many Rotary moments, and I guess that's why I'm still with the Rotary Club of Makati das Marinas. But I cannot forget in one of the cataract missions, one of the beneficiaries was very thankful. She was suffering from cataract. So for how many years she went by with her life without seeing and then in just 30 minutes she was given the gift of sight. So she was very thankful and uh, she was crying after the operation and she couldn't believe that our club was sponsoring the operation. She couldn't believe that there was a club that would help people who couldn't afford such operations. So it's very important. The gift of sight is very important. And now, um, from time to time, we like to check up with our patients because they're the ones who tell their friends about the project. And we get referrals from them. And it's very heartwarming because we hear their stories, and these are real people, and these are real lives, and we know that we really make a difference in their lives. Uh, I'd like to thank for uh, the, the people, the members who are helping us. Um, thank you very much for your time, talent, and treasure. Uh, I would like to remind everybody that it, this is a voluntary Thing. There's no pressure to join, there's no pressure to work, but because it's fun, because it is our passion to help others, I would like to thank you for spending time, for giving of yourself so that all our projects push through and at the same time we build genuine friendships, genuine relationships along the way. For everyone out there, if you are not familiar with Rotary, aside from going to our website, www rotary.org you can also join our meetings we meet every wednesday aside from the meetings we have fellowships we have parties we have fun because rotary is service with fellowship we not only help people we not only make changes in their lives we also enjoy ourselves we get to meet a lot of people we do networking but more than the connections with the business world we make genuine relationships along the way. So this is purely voluntary. If you have extra time, if you want to help and you don't know how to connect, like what happened to me, uh, I work in a bank, I wanted to help others, 
But I didn't know how to get to them to connect. So Rotary provided an avenue for me. So that was the perfect way. That, uh, and now I'm still five, ye I'm five years old in Rotary and I intend to stay more than that for a long time. What is Rotary? We're a network of people like you. In fact, we're the original social network. More than one million of us live just about everywhere you can think of. And we mean everywhere. We get together to exchange ideas, grow our businesses, and make new friends. We volunteer to help our own communities or someone else's. We're right around the corner. Come join us. The name is Rotary. Rotary International. You're welcome. The Rotary Club of Mutianang Santa Maria handed over books and chairs to its adopted library at Santa Maria High School. The school's administration and faculties were thankful for the said donations, as this will help the students in their research work. Hundreds of patients took advantage of the free eye checkup and reading glasses service of the Rotary Club of Tuguegarao Citadel. The said service program, dubbed as Linaw Mata, was held in Lemu and Rile, Cagayan. Every month, the Rotary Club of Diliman Heights conducts a dental mission in partnership with the Novaliches Dental Professionals Incorporated. The Rotary Club of Diliman North, through its Rotary Community Corps, conducted a livelihood project at Barangay Pinkayan, Pasong Tamo, Quezon City, wherein they taught the members of the community on candle making. Rotarians of Rotary International District 3790, Area 3, Cluster 3B, joined forces in repacking relief goods containing rice, canned goods, coffee, biscuits, and medicines to be donated to the victims of Typhoon Lando in their area. The Rotary Club of Orion fed 615 students of General Lim Elementary School. The said feeding program, sponsored by the past President Mon Hernandez, aimed to help the kids attain the right nutrition needed by their growing bodies. The Rotary Club of Sampaguita Grace Park distributed reading glasses to students of Eulogio Rodriguez Elementary School in Caloocan City who have vision problems. The Rotary Club of Pasig Central conducted a medical and dental mission at Napico, Mangahan, Pasig City, led by Club President Lydia T. Dizon. The club also provided medicines to the patients. The Rotary Club of Padre Faura, Manila, with the support of the Rotary Club of Manila Bonifacio Drive and the Bureau of Plants, conducted a lecture series on urban farming at Barangay 776, Zone 85, Santa Ana, Manila. The club taught attendees on how to grow vegetables in empty plastic containers. Rotary Club of Pasay Silangan, led by President Lowell Sibunga, in partnership with the Spex Foundation, conducted its own disaster preparedness seminar in Pasay City, which was attended by 100 members of the community. The attendees received first aid kits and certificates. The Rotary Club of San Pascual conducted the fifth leg of its medical and dental mission service program at the municipality of Tingloy, Batangas, in partnership with the Tingloy Regional Health Unit and Local Government Unit, Batangas Medical Center, and the Batangas City Dental Chapter. To help improve the learning experience of the students of Rafael M. Loho Memorial School, the Rotary Club of Lipa initially donated four units of 42-inch LED TV. The club aims to provide more television units for all the classrooms of the school that caters 1,277 kindergarten to grade six pupils. The Rotary Club of Palanyag Paranaque conducted a disaster relief operation at Barangay San Martin de Porres for the fire victims of the said area. The Rotary Club of Alabang Daang Hari donated books as well as distributed fruits to pupils at Southville 3, Poblacion, Montenglupa City under their REN, Read, Empower, Nurture service program in partnership with the Rotary Club of York, Canada. 
The Rotary Club of Bacolod East conducted the second part of its maternal and child health care program at Barangay 19, Bacolod City, wherein they provided medical assistance to mothers and mothers-to-be, as well as a maternal health forum wherein Dr. Jenny Suribio served as resource speaker. The Rotary Club of Davao 200 paid a visit to the 40 grandpas and grandmas residing at Consugian Home for the Aged. Rotarians turned over t-shirts, shorts, and towels, as well as conducted a feeding program for the elderly beneficiaries. The Rotary Club of Iligan Bay, through the initiative of PDG Tess Navales, donated a hand wash facility to Holy Family School of Iligan in Caritas Village, Upper Tominobo, Iligan City. The handover ceremonies was graced by District 3870 Governor Leo Ochia. The Rotary Club of Cagayan de Oro Center Point conducted a feeding program for the less fortunate members of the community at Gaston Park. Rather than the usual gala with fancy hors d'oeuvres and fine cuisine, Steve Dull sought something more soulfully nourishing for his induction as governor of District 6080 in Missouri this year. Traditional installations are often, and I quote, somewhat formal, coat and tie, and that's fine, says Dull, who instead asked Rotarians to collect non-perishable provisions and volunteer at food banks and pantries across the district, located between the southern outskirts of St. Louis and Kansas City. Dull also called for clubs to join in a month-long food fight, pitting the northern part of the district against the south. Incidentally, the north won. Hundreds of Rotarians, Rotaractors, and their families and friends collected more than 10,000 pounds of food and about $19,000. Together, members of 33 of the district's 49 clubs spent nearly 1,500 hours in one day undertaking tasks such as accepting food donations outside supermarkets. Rotary and Rotaract clubs in Jefferson City took in 5,937 pounds of goods and repacking 5,000 pounds of puff dry cereal at the Central and Northeast Missouri Food Bank. How Del Bianco Neto of the Rotary Club of Registro realized the challenges from confronting the local medical center several years ago when a friend's twins were delivered two months prematurely. He discovered that the hospital, Dr. Leopoldo Bevilacqua Regional in Pariquera Acu, lacked enough beds in its neonatal intensive care unit to serve the area, which encompasses 24 cities and almost 500,000 people. And I quote, we are a poor region near Sao Paulo, Del Bianco Neto says. We need more care for pregnant women and children. Recently, his club, with its international partner, the Rotary Club of Nakatsugawa, Japan, received a $172,500 Rotary Foundation Global Grant to fund five ICU beds, incubators, and monitoring equipment. Seminars on prenatal care and breastfeeding and small gifts for expected mothers rounded out the efforts. More than 8,700 people graduated from a six-month literacy course supervised by the District 2451 Rotary Literacy Committee. More than three out of four participants in the second phase of the Knowledge is Power initiative were young women, says Eman El Gamrawi, committee chair and past president of the Rotary Club of Heliopolis. The program is offered free of charge to individuals ages 15 to 30 and largely funded by the Vodafone Egypt Foundation. It involved nearly 700 observers, coordinators, teachers and administrators from 30 Rotary Clubs and other organizations. In May 2014, Rotary Club of Bhavnagar Royal in Gujarat State launched a five-day medical mission offering physical examinations including heart rate, blood pressure, the blood glucose level monitoring. Rotarian pharmacists also dispensed medicines. This year, the club expanded the project. Medical camps cost $5,000, and the Rotary Club of Luton, North England, provided another $3,000. About 750 residents received medical exams, and 30 patients underwent cataract surgery. Nearly 35% of Egyptian women cannot read nor write.
the rotary flag as the flag of peace and pearl. I shall serve my community. Yeah.